third to here. So anyways, this one they happen to actually rob from being on the stock quite um, wrapped in there. So you know what, Tin Man here, I'm going to get a good look at that. Because I'm going to tell you right now what I say is a claw somewhere came in here, did a fine little snip on the bottom of that guy. So maybe, because how else is that being, or did that get broken? Fair enough, it could have been broken, just broken, and maybe they are able to break it so well that they didn't have to bend much of the leaves over, you see that? Because that's a, what is that depth? That's that depth down, that's an inch and a half down. Without doing a lot of stock, where am I? A lot of stock, you know, bending and stuff. So it's just stuff you calculate in. If it works out to be in something, then it works out to be in something. Anyways, you see that one, but first I've seen this one. And what this is telling me is they're, um, it's telling me some kind of a message from them. Look at that, what they're doing there, eh? Did they do that with their teeth for real? We're gonna look a little closer here. So that's them biting into it, unless they're doing it with their claws. I don't know what they're willing to show us, but they're not showing us tidy. They went right into the core of the corn. Take that into account, because when I've seen, or sorry, yes, when I've seen corn, because when I fed, the, fed uh, my first clan corn, they clean it right to the cob, but they don't make the, ma the mistake of going into that. They actually leave the cart, you know that thin little almost seed carcass holding part of the cob? They leave those all behind, almost like very clean. And meticulously done. Like they're not 